Yo, what's good? What's poppin'? This is your raw vegan home boy. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, today, I'm going to go over how I make my raw vegan ketogenic protein bars. Uh, it doesn't take much to make these. Uh, this is something I came up with accidentally. And um, I'll tell you the story. When I came home one night, I wanted something sweet. but I'm, And I'm so used to eating my tahini butter, my avocado, and my veggies all mixed up in one. So I wanted something sweet, but I knew if I ate like a banana or something, you know, and I just got home from working out that night, I was gonna be kicked, I was gonna be kicked out of ketosis. So I needed something that was sweet, but fatty. You know what I'm saying? I had a hard time rationalizing what can I eat. And it was like three o'clock in the morning, just, just got back home from the gym. So I realized I had some coconut butter here. And um, coconut butter only has one gram of sugar in it, okay? Um, and is and it has good fats in here as well so i was like <clears throat> i was like all right i'm going to get this right here and i'm going to get my stevia powder and i had some um cacao powder also okay and i had some sunflower seeds okay so i decided you know make me a little sweetie thing so i got my little bowl put everything put about a spoonful of each well a spoonful of um coconut butter a little bit of sunflower seeds, a tad bit of uh, stevia, and a tad bit of uh, co cacao, raw cacao powder. So I just mixed it up or whatever, just to see what I can come up with. I just needed something to satisfy that 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 sweet tooth. I wasn't really craving it, but I just, I just had a taste for it. You know what I'm saying? So I just stirred it up. I made a little bit more than what I can handle. So I ate like maybe two spoonfuls, put the rest in the um, refrigerator, and boom, it came out hard. And um, the next day it came out like kind of hard, you know what I'm saying? So um, I had an idea. I was like, hmm, raw vegan protein bar, raw vegan ketogenic protein bars. Let's do it. All right. So um, first thing is that you need a bowl. Okay. Something to stir it in. It don't matter, Tupperware, whatever. If you're pole like I am, utilize with what you have. Okay. Hell, use a paper cup for all I care. You know what I'm saying? All right, and next, what you're gonna do, you're gonna need some kind of mold. Now, since I eat a lot of macadamia nuts, this is gonna be my mold. Um, again, you can use Tupperware as a mold. Uh, you can use some kind of Tupperware like this. Uh, something that's kind of flat and low, flat and low, okay? Flat and low. You know, this is a perfect one for me. This is flat and also, it's also low, you know what I mean? Um, but you get what I'm trying to say. All right, so I'm going to make two things of uh, my raw vegan ketogenic protein bars. I know it's a mouthful. Bear with me, please. All right, now, this is how I do it. Now, I mean, you can throw it all in here in the order that you feel like is good for you. But for me, I'm just telling you how I do it, okay? All right, now, first thing you're going to do, as a matter of fact, I'm never going to need a bigger bowl than this. All right, so we're gonna get a bigger bowl. So let's get a bigger bowl, first of all. All right, we're gonna make two. All right, now first you wanna, well, this is what I do. I'm gonna add my raw vegan um, pea protein powder. Now I'm adding this because of the protein, okay? And you can add, I'm adding two tablespoons. Um, that's all I need. You can add maybe three or four if you work out hard, train hard. Maybe three or four. I don't know. It all depends on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a skinny ass Negro. I don't need that much. Okay. All right. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about, I'll say about half a tablespoon of, of, of agave powder. This is raw vegan agave powder. Um, again, I'm keeping it raw and vegan. Um, now, if you don't have the raw form of stevia, the powder, you can also get the extract right here, okay? You can get this at Whole Foods, your local grocery store, wherever online, however you get it. It's not my problem, it's yours. You know, do what you wanna do, all right? Uh, now, next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna add some um, cacao powder. Now, you, I'm gonna add probably like a tablespoon, okay? I'm gonna add a tablespoon. Now, if you put when you put this in here, remember, cacao powder contains ca caffeine. Okay, so, you know, it's gonna 
if you eat these, don't eat these at night. I eat them at night because my body's adapted to going to bed at a certain time and it doesn't really bother me. But this be, if you're caffeine, caffeine sensitive, you know, don't, don't eat these at night, okay? Um, now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your powder, you're gonna, whoop, I spilled some. You're just gonna stir it up, okay? You're just gonna stir it up, like that, okay? Now, next, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna add some, um, I'm gonna add probably like two tablespoons of uh, coconut oil. Again, this is extra, extra virgin olive oil, so this is raw, okay? Um, two tablespoons of that, okay? One, two. All right, two tablespoons of that, okay? Now, next, what you're gonna do is going, you're gonna add the filler, okay? This is the this is the stuff that makes it happen right here, okay? You're gonna add two tablespoons. Well, I'm gonna add two tablespoons. You can add how many, how many other tablespoons you want, or two or three or whatever. Uh, me, I'm gonna add two because I'm trying to make two things of uh, of uh, raw vegan ketogenic protein bars. Okay, now when, this is a new one. Now, you're gonna have some oil. I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to swish it around so you can see it. But uh, you're gonna have some oil if you open up a new one. Now, you can just pour that oil in there, you know, and just dig in there. I'm just gonna just kinda just throw it in there. I really don't give a shit how much I put in there. I'm just, try, I'm just trying to basically tell you how much to put in there. You know, for some of you people who have to have exact measurements. Me, I don't give a shit about the measurements and stuff like that. I just eat it. You know what I'm saying? I just eat this shit. You feel me? So, got that out of the way. All right, now. So, let's review. We have our two tablespoons of protein or how many ever tables, tablespoons you want to put in there two or three, whatever, of raw vegan pea protein powder, plant-based. Now, I did put a half a teaspoon of raw vegan stevia leaf extract, stevia leaf powder, okay? Again, this is raw vegan, okay? Now, also, I added about, what, probably three tablespoons of uh, coconut, raw coconut butter, okay? It is to your liking. I'm just telling you how I do it, okay? All right, next, and I added uh, a tablespoon of raw cacao powder. Now, like I said before, be careful with this stuff because it will keep you up. All right, be careful. Okay, now, once you get all your stuff together, you're going to mix it up, okay? Let me see what spoon I want to use. I might, let me see, I need to get a napkin to put this one on. You know, just in case I got to use this one again. So, you're going to get your ingredients and you're just going to, like, just mix it up, okay? You're just gonna mix it up like that, okay? Just mix it up. It kinda looks like melted ice cream a little bit, but uh, yeah, you're just gonna mix it up, okay? There you go. Now it's starting to look like a, like a mousse. Oh, I just made up a new recipe. Raw vegan mousse. Oh, I'm getting good at this shit. Mm, this could be a raw vegan shake raw vegan soup, I mean raw vegan um, uh, smoothie I guess, but you know this is a lot of sweetness, it's kind of rich. But this is a raw vegan mousse, I guess it is, you know what I'm saying, look how consistent it is, it's rich, it's very very rich, very rich, okay, matter of fact, ain't nobody here but me, let me taste it. It's not really really sweet. But it's more of a satisfying sweet. You feel me? It's not too overkill on the sweetness. It's just enough to, to kill that craving. You feel me? And that's what you want. You don't want anything that's going to over exceed what you want. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to cause you to want more. This right here is like right on point. You feel me? Right on point. It's very good. Mm. It's rich too. All right, next. What you want to do now. You can add walnuts, you can add almonds, 
um, macadamia nuts, chopped up macadamia nuts, chopped up pecans. I'm gonna do sunflower seeds because uh, when I came home the other night, this is what I threw, threw in my uh, new recipe. So this is what I'm gonna have, okay? So I'm just gonna use this. I'm just gonna pour maybe, um, oops, dang, it's all, look at me, I'm just all messy. I'm gonna pour probably like a handful. I mean, you can pour how, how, how much ever you want, but I'm probably gonna do like two handfuls. Yeah, let's do another handful there. There we go. Let's see how that turns out. And again, you can have these for breakfast. Um, you can have these for lunch. Um, probably for breakfast because you know you got to keep them in the refrigerator. Um, they can be your dinner when you come home at night. As for lunch, uh, you will probably have to make them at your lunch site or, or at your work, whatever your workplace because by the time you get the word they'll probably be melted so you kind of want to be careful okay now this is what we're going to do we're going to add some sunflower seeds in there try to get that crunch you feel me and you're getting your protein you're getting your fat your uh, healthy fats plus you're being satisfied at the same time okay um if you're getting ready to go to the gym and you want to use these as an energy booster, what I would do, lay off the sunflower seeds, lay off the nuts, and just uh, pour the uh, your concoction here in your um, glass or uh, Tupperware or bowl or whatever, whatever you got, you know? Uh, because nuts, they take a while to digest, okay? All right, and as you can see, it's almost like a raw vegan keto cereal. And you know, I'm just making up shit, you know what I'm saying? It's the same shit, but I just put a different name on it. You feel me? You know, <laughs> it is what it is. This is basically how I make my kid raw vegan ketogenic pie, but um, I didn't add any avocado. You feel me? So, you know, hey, man, it is what it is. It is what it is. So, what you're going to do, you're going to get your Tupperware, okay? And, well, this is some not really Tupperware, but I got these from Lucky's. Uh, these are macadamia. Uh, as a matter of fact, I bought some tonight. I bought like three more tonight. The macadamia nuts. These things are so freaking addictive. Oh my goodness. Woo. This is like my second woman right here. I used to, y'all y'all know me. I used to eat the cashews, but the cashews got kind of old. You know, had to kick them to the side. This is the, this is my new baby mama right here. Okay. That's it. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. If I had a if I had a choice of going on a date and eating some macadamia nuts, what you think I'm gonna do? I'm eating the damn macadamia nuts. What you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I mean that's just how it is, man. Hey, a woman can wait, but them macadamia nuts can't wait. I gotta handle my business. You feel me? Alright, now check it out. So what you gonna do? You're gonna pour pour it in here. See y'all can see me. Okay. Pour. I say about how much? Mm, I'm not gonna really say how much. I mean, it depends on your thickness, how, how thick you want it to look, but about like that, you know what I'm saying? That's about one third of the way of the uh, container. Uh, and again, it depends on, it depends on uh, how big your container is. Now, I think I poured a little bit too much in there. So we're gonna pour, we're gonna pour the remainder of the, uh, Okay, yeah, I think I did put too much in there. We're gonna pour the remainder of the uh, raw vegan keto concoction in here. And let's see here. Oh, uh, something's going down the side. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna take some out of here and pour in here. There we go. And that should even it out pretty much. Okay, now, i let y'all see what I'm doing. All right, now, as you can see, I mean, it's like that, okay, you can see. Now, I don't have any after photos, okay? So what I'm gonna do, hopefully, Lord willing, tomorrow when I come home, or maybe in the morning, depending on how I feel, I will show you how it looks afterwards, okay? But you're just gonna take your container. If you don't have, oh, I'm just clumsy. If you don't have a top, 
you know, I guess that's fine or whatever, but I put a top on mine. Oops, my thing came out. Um, I put a top on mine. So uh, if you want to put a top on yours, that's fine. And just place it in the refrigerator or maybe the freezer. You know, I'm going to put mine in the refrigerator here because I got all night. Okay. And I do have some made, but as you can see, they're cut into chunks. You feel me? They're just cut into chunks. So, um, and I probably overdid it with some of the ingredients. These are a little bit more chunkier. Um, again, these are very good for um, if you if you have like a pre-workout. Like I said, just don't put the nuts in it. Just put the uh, coconut butter and the um, coconut butter, the protein and the stevia. Mix it up. Put it in the refrigerator. Put it in the container. Put it in the refrigerator and just let it do its thing you feel me now i think i probably did put a little bit too much coconut oil in there it's kind of it, it wasn't that watery the time i did it but you know hey it is what it is hopefully it'll come out good but uh you know what i think i'm just gonna eat this right here boy mm. it's rich it's rich but it's satisfying that's why when I came home that night, I only had like I only ate like two tablespoons and that was it. I couldn't eat no more because it was rich and it was it, it satisfied me. It really satisfied my craving. I'm gonna get one of these too. Mm. Good. All right. Well, it's not nice to talk with my mouth full, but I'm doing it anyway. Anyway. This is your raw vegan homeboy signing off. Stay healthy, stay well. If you try this recipe, let me know. Let me know how it turned out. All right. Remember, stay healthy, stay well. Most of all, stay motivated. Take it easy.